Hey guys, it's me, Nicole. I am bringing you a haul video today. Yay! So, um, I've been busy, busy, busy. I went to the Goodwill Outlet and it was awesome. It was so good today. I can't believe what I found. I marked, I finally marked off one of my, um, I have like five things in my head that I really want to find one day and I finally marked one of them off. Well, I've marked a few over time, but one of them is marked off now and I can't wait to show you, but that will be in a second because I have to tell you how much I spent. So this is going to be a longer video just so you know. So go get some coffee if it's in the morning or go get a glass of wine or go get, um, I have a goblet of water. <laughs> I don't like to drink, I don't drink water enough. And so I put it in fancy glasses to make myself feel better about it. Like, oh, oh. Anyway, that has nothing to do with eBay. Go get yourself something to drink, get cozy, and let's see what I found today. So at Goodwill Outlet, I spent $48.91, as you can see right there, see? $48.91. And I bought 75 items, they are all, clothing and shoes today. I didn't do anything else. I didn't look for hard goods at all. I just kind of looked for clothing and shoes because that is what was in abundance. That was what was coming out. And there was heaps and heaps and heaps of it today. So that's why I really focused all of my time because I didn't have a ton of time. I only had a couple hours. Um, so yeah, I sent $48.91. I bought 75 items and together all added up in a very modest way. I should be able to clear $2,200. Great. That is awesome. That is amazing. So I've had a few, um, so the exact total would be $2,287 is my estimated um, net on that. Not my gross, not, so that's my net. So this is what I'm going to be listing all of the items on. I've had a lot of people be like, so is that how much you're making or how much you're listing? This is how much I'm listing the items for. You need to take out fees, you need to take out shipping. Um, but again, that's not a huge amount. So $48 into $2,000, that's great. <laughs> and then you guys, I've had a lot of feedback that say, um, so you'll never get that much or everything works out. Everything works out. So some things I get more for, some things I get less for, it all evens out. So I did my best to be very transparent and tell you guys what I think things are gonna go for. After, I, and I've researched all of this. This is not just me making up some numbers. I've researched all of this. These, this is my honest opinion about how much I can get for the items that I found. Let's continue, shall we? Okay, good. So, what do you guys want to go first? How about menswear? Because that's what I have first. Okay, so I found some good men's stuff today, you guys. And I'm actually, I think, just going to show it all to you. You guys have some time, right? Remember, we need some time. Watch this in two parts. There's a secret surprise at the end. A second haul from a store. Wait for the end. Menswear! So... I found eight pieces of men's stuff. You know, I'm really gonna try and branch out more into the men's stuff. Um, I really wanted to start doing more menswear, more men's stuff because this sells really well and a lot of it sells for a lot more than the women's stuff. But you know, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. I found eight pieces of men's things. They should sell for about $330, which is great. Um, the highest, so this is really cool and I, I put it back in the bin for like 10 seconds and then I grabbed it back out and then I looked it up and then I got really excited. It's this Adidas jacket. It's a vintage Adidas jacket. As you see here, it's for football, soccer for Americans group. Here's the back. Um, so there's only one other one like this that has sold, has been on or sold on eBay in the last 90 days that I saw from looking up on my mobile app. It sold for $205. That's right, $205. Mine won't sell for that much because um, that one was A, it was lined, so it was a little bit nicer quality. 
And then B, it also had like a Mercedes-Benz logo on it up here. So it was a little bit different. But the ones that are up right now don't have the same colorway. Like this part up here is white, it's not black. So there's not another one with this exact colorway like this besides that one that sold for 200. So I'm gonna put this up at 100 and I really think it will sell for 100. It's a great find. Any sort of um, classic Adidas stuff right now is really hot. And then any sort of Adidas team or Nike team, you know, jerseys and stuff, the vintage stuff is really good. Pick it up if you see it and you can get a good price on it. That tag, it looks weird, but it is a, um, it's a real one, it has a, real Nike Air Adidas tag and everything in it. So yeah, I'm really excited about this, you guys. I am really excited. I'm gonna put it up for 100. I think it'll sell. Next. Um, so I have another Nike jacket. This one's exciting. So I bought, I found this LL, this vintage LL Bean. It's like a trench, a waterproof trench coat. There it is. It's a vintage one. It's a men's large. It has um, a hood tucked away in here and everything. I'm not going to pull out right now. But yeah, that was exciting because a lot of times you find these and the hoods are missing because people didn't store them in here correctly. So I'm really excited. It's a full length trench coat, waterproof. It is super nice. It's got like snaps down at the bottom. This is a great coat. So they wanted $7.99 for it at Goodwill. Somebody should have bought it for $7.99. And then half off, that green tag went half off. Somebody should have bought this because I'm going to put it up for $59.99. And I think it will sell for that much. And it weighs nothing. So when it does sell for $59.99, it's going to cost me like $3 to ship it. Yay! So those were my two big men's finds. And then I just got a couple, you know, bread and butter. Bread and butter. Nike jacket. Just a vintage Nike jacket. Um, I think I said I was going to do 40 on this guy. I found this. I've been trying to buy cycling stuff. Like um, bicycling stuff lately. Because it seems to be going good. So I picked up this little wolf bike jacket. But it doesn't sell for very much. It sells for like $20. Which is fine. I mean I love $20. It's got the pocket in the back. You can tell when something is for um, cycling because generally it will have pockets down here in the back or it will have um, well yeah like a zipper pocket or it will have like actual pockets to put like your water bottle and stuff when you're riding your bike. So yeah $20 on that. I found a polo shirt. Short sleeve. $20 on that. A Lacoste shirt. Of course, I'm going to double check before I list this that it's real, but I've listed plenty of these. I know that this is pretty real from looking at the logo and stuff, I can tell. But, you know, of course, I will double check. I will do my due diligence before I list it. But anytime you see Lacoste stuff, it's really good. It is faked. It is really heavily faked. So make sure that you know your stuff before you buy this. Um, but I should be able to sell this basic little shirt for about $25. I found a Mountain Hardware. This was a good find. This little Mountain Hardware fleece. This one should um, sell for about 40 The last one that was just like this sold for 10 but they put um, so cute in the title. And I was just thinking, I should tell you guys not to do that. Don't put things like that in your title. That's not necessary. There's so many words that I could use to describe this that are not so cute. People aren't looking up Mountain Hardware jacket so cute. They're not. So use good words. She could have gotten $40 for her jacket. I'm going to get $40 for my jacket. Make sure you're using good words in that um, title because that is, your title is everything. Your title is how you're going to sell something. If you're going to be successful, you've got to have good titles, guys. So make sure that you are putting only keywords. So um, I was helping my friend Sarah last night and she was putting like dashes and stuff in her title and I said take all of that stuff out. You don't need any of that because you could be using, you put you know three or four dashes, that's one more word that you could use in your title. You want to fill, max that out. That, you know, sometimes I'll even play with different words so I know that I get every single character that I can in my title. There we go. I could do a whole video about that, obviously. But yeah, Mountain Hardware, you guys should be buying Mountain Hardware. So, Mountain Hardware. 
Um, this stuff always sells really, really, really well and really quickly for me too. This is the logo. It's like a little nut. So this is 40. And then, oh, this is great. I knew it was going to be a good trip because I walked in, I got a cart, I looked in the first bin up against the wall, and I found this. And I didn't just find it. I can't believe someone didn't grab it because the tag was like laying right on top. And I was like, oh. And then I immediately thought, oh, someone rejected it because there's something wrong with it. Nope. So I've talked about this brand a lot lately. Uh, Pearl Uzumi. It's another biking brand. And it sells really well. And it's pretty expensive. So this should sell for about 50 this is another biking jersey is what they call it. It's got a little pocket in the back. This is a great one and it's an extra large. It needs to be washed, but that's, I mean, that's nothing. There's like a little some surface spot right here. You can't even see it because it's literally nothing. It will come out in the wash. Not a big deal. So that's all my menswear, guys. Bras! I'm back in the bra game. I am back in the bra game. Bras accounted, have been accounting for about 10% of my sales. I shipped out three bras yesterday. Bras have been killing it for me. I have been doing so well with bras. Um, I was able to ask Griff. Um, Griff does all the customer service stuff for eBay. They do a Periscope every Wednesday. So I was able to do hop in on the live Periscope and ask if you're allowed to sell used bras. The answer is yes. He has confirmed, yes, because somebody else actually wrote him an email. You can sell used bras. And I completely trust what he says because he is kind of in charge of that area. So if there is an issue, which there will not be an issue, you can sell used bras. We can go back and talk to him again because he's always available for us. So I really recommend if you guys are having issues with eBay, you can email him directly. So look him up and he does eBay radio every Tuesday. Um, they actually interviewed me on there, which was really fun. So he has said yes. So I'm back in the bra game, full force, making lots of money, doing lots of cool stuff. I bought 14 bras today. My favorite place to buy bras is at the bins because I really don't want to pay that much for them. Um, but I bought 14 of them today and I should profit about $295 off of them. Yay, who loves bras? We love bras. Um, so here's my pile. I don't need to show you them all to you, but I'm gonna show you a couple of them. Pile of bras, swimming in money, basically. Um, so a couple of bras, my very favorite bra that I probably ever bought. It's super fun, perfect for Valentine's Day. Look at this thing, you guys. And this is um, a bigger one from Lane Bryant. It's their cat, cat. I don't know how to say it. Here's the tag. You guys know. People keep trying to tell me how to say this. Kashika. Ka. I don't know. This brand. This one. The 42 double D. It's got, look at this, even on the side, it's got this really fun detailing. It's made super well. I'm going to list this tonight. When I'm done taking this video, I'm listing this. I'm putting Valentine's Day in the title. This is a perfect Valentine's Day bra, and I'm listing it for $39.95, and I think it will sell for $39.95. Super excited, and it's like new, you guys. I don't even know. If this was worn, it would be worn once for Valentine's Day. Or you want to be like a sexy Minnie Mouse, maybe. I don't know. It's cool though. Um, I never thought about this before, but apparently Torrid bras sell really well. I had never found any. Torrid is a store. It's like a, a sister store of Hot Topic. They, but they only do plus sizes. So here is the tag Torrid, T-O-R-R-I-D. Here's the bra, a really nice bra. And this is going from their bra sale for between 20 to 30. So I'm going to put this up for 25 and that will be great. And then I found a couple more, um, these are more of that brown that I can't pronounce. Kashik, Kakik, the brand, this one. I know you guys are going to try and tell me how to do it. I need to just like Google how to say it because I'll never figure it out. But yeah, this is like a, there's no wire in these bras. There's two of the exact same ones. And they are a great size. What size? 48 Ds. 
Ta-da! These are $20 bras. I'm holding $40 in my hand that I paid, I don't know, 50 cents for. 50 cents into 40. That is great. And then, what other one did I leave out? Well, this is just a ballet bra. This is nothing that exciting, but I just still think it will net me about $20. For some reason, bras, it doesn't even really matter what the brand is lately. I've just been, they've been going like crazy. So as long as they look nice and they're modern cuts and styles, nice and clean, I have been buying them and selling them. Next up, we have dresses and skirts. So I bought five, to, all together, five dresses and skirts. And the total that I think that estimated profit is $250. Let's see what I got. I got this, oh, this is a good one. So I actually stopped selling Elaine Fisher because I was, all of the Elaine Fisher customers that I have were really high maintenance, which is fine. It's totally fine. I don't mind dealing with high maintenance customers. I don't. But I just felt like I was giving my money back to all of them, which was really frustrating because it was always kind of higher dollar amounts, which again, it's not that frustrating. I don't mind. It's okay. I just stopped doing Elaine Fisher for a second because I needed a breath. Um, but I found this at the bins tonight and I couldn't help it. The cut on it is really good. Look at the bottom of the skirt. It has this really cool cut. It's metallic and shimmery. And it's, uh, you know, this is her newer tag. It's a petite medium, um, which is fine. I am going to put this up for 50 and I think it will sell for that because I this is definitely one of her newer pieces fabric is this? I didn't even look. That's usually one of the first things I look at in a piece of clothes. Hmm. Anyway, I always check out her fabrics because she has really, she always uses really good fabrics. Yeah, linen. It's a linen brand. Blend. Linen blend. So yeah, there we go. $50. Thank you. I found that. That was one of the last things that I found. Um, a Calvin Klein dress. Do, 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 do. Calvin Klein has been selling really well for me. Calvin Klein, it's just a little sweater dress. I'll put it up for 25. What else, what else, what else? This one isn't exciting. It's a Max Studio dress, another like 20, $25 dress. Boop, boop, boop. But it's super cute. So summertime is coming guys. So we got to start getting that summer merchandise in there because that is what people will be buying soon. Max Studio stuff is like, Totally hit and miss. Some of it sells really well, but I think this is a cute little summer dress that will sell. And then these two pieces are super exciting pieces. So, um, again, this I found right when I was leaving. They brought out a new cart that had some good stuff in it. Athleta, brand new with tags, guys. Ooh, that's really exciting for me. Love it, love it, love it. Look at this. $89. $89. $89, I paid, I don't know, 50 cents, it weighs nothing. And I am going to sell it for, I think, 50. I think I'm gonna put it up for like $49.99. And, you know, probably take a best offer of like 35 or 40, which is fine. They wanted the $20 for this at Goodwill. So glad I did not pay $20 for this. So anyway, this is just a cute little Athleta dress. Um, Athleta stuff sells super, super good for me. Not for everyone, but for me, it really sells. Okay, and the last piece is the most exciting piece. <sighs> so, I grabbed this, I saw it, I thought it was really pretty, and I put it in my cart. I didn't look at, I didn't look up the brand, I didn't look at the RN number, I didn't do any research on it. And then you guys should, you know, start... So many people tell me that they write down all the brands and stuff, which is great. That means that you're learning and you're growing and that's awesome. But start trying to buy things based on how they look when it comes to clothing. Like I bought this because it had this beautiful, look at this embroidery, guys. Sneak peek. Look at this embroidery on this dress and the cut of this dress. That is beautiful. Like, and you pick it up and you can tell it's made of really nice cotton. I don't wear gloves at the bins because I need to be able to fill these clothes. I really do. Anyway, I could tell that this dress was expensive. I just threw it in my cart. So then I, you know, I'm getting ready to check out. Even the tag has embroidery on it, guys. That's not on the outside. That is just on the inside. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm getting ready to check out or I'm getting ready to go through my car and I look up this brand, F-L-O-R-E-A-T, Floret. It's an anthropology dress. 
and it's a hundred dollar anthropology dress. Yes, yes, that is like, I just wanna do like cartwheels in Goodwill Outlet when I find a hundred dollar piece of clothing, especially one that's so pretty and one that I'll enjoy selling. So I'm really gonna enjoy selling this. I guarantee you that I'll list it tomorrow because if you're excited about something, you are way more likely to get it up and get it listed. So I've been trying to only buy things that get me excited and things that I'm actually going to, you know, want to list because I'm, there's so much stuff out there, you know? And I probably saw 50 bins of clothing tonight. I could make money out of any of those bins, but now I want to buy stuff that's really exciting to me. I don't care how much it sells for. If it sells for 10, if it sells for 100, I just want to be motivated to get it listed because that's always the hard part, taking pictures and listing and so yeah, buying stuff that is exciting to me, like this beautiful dress. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. So yeah, it's on the back. $100 dress right here. Thank you, dress. What size are you, a six? That's a decent size. Um, Next, we are on to plus size items. There's four of them. And I'm really showing you guys like everything tonight. If you don't, if that's not something you always want me to do, I understand. Actually, I lied. We're talking about jackets right now. I understand. Um, but for this video, you know, I think I just want to make kind of a longer video and see what happens. So jackets. I got a vintage Levi's jacket. It's a vintage denim jacket. It's not that vintage, but I can tell that it is semi-vintage um, just based on this tag in here. So here it is. There's one up right now for 20. I'm going to put mine at 40 and see what happens because I'm going to include shipping and everything. And if it doesn't sell, I'll probably just keep it because it fits me and it's cool. Um, this little Banana Republic. This is a really nice piece, actually. It's super soft. This is totally something that I would wear. It won't fit me because it's a small. But yeah, Banana Republic is hit or miss. I don't buy a ton of it anymore. I was buying it for a while, but, you know, I don't buy a ton of it. Um, but if I see a nice piece, a nice basic piece, piece like this, I'll buy it. Guys, guys, there's going to be a weird break because I just had like half an hour technical difficulties. That was the craziest thing. My, I thought that my um, thing was recording and it totally wasn't. It filled up in memory and it stopped recording and I had to do all this crazy stuff. So there's going to be a weird spot. But back to what I bought. This Design Options sweater, which is a great brand. If you guys ever have the opportunity to buy Design Options, buy it. They always have this like funky, really fun scenes on them. This one's like a lighthouse Christmas one. I sold an Easter one for $100 last year, which was great. That was a great find. That was another Ben's find. There we go. So yeah, buy Design Options, guys. That's something to be on the lookout for sure. And then we are on to, um, am I going the right way still? Yeah. Okay. This is just a Columbia jacket, but it's a really nice women's Columbia jacket. Little ski jacket. It's hooded. It's really well insulated. I'm going to put it up for $50. And here's the tag on that. I know you guys love to see the tags. This is a nice jacket. I was really excited when I found this. There it is. Columbia jacket. Look at the inside has this like super pretty floral and somebody's gonna be super excited about that. I'm super excited about that. Let's see, tops. Is that where we're at? Plus size? I'm all over the place guys. That last half an hour really threw me off. So let's keep trucking here. Thanks for hanging out guys. I know that we're getting pretty long and I hope you're still here. I hope you're still having fun. Um, plus size. I got four plus size items for 75 dollars there's really nothing exciting i bought a little suit jacket because it was new with tags the brand is not important on this but the size is a 22 women's which is a plus size anything plus size generally sells for me and the design of this jacket is super fun or super nice so it's in style it's a good jacket and i'm gonna put it up for 25 there's that guy and then just a couple other basics, a shirt, little, you know, nothing crazy. So the total for all the plus size stuff is $75. And then I got some tops, four tops that I plan on selling for $60, which is great. Um, they're all just, you know, your basic nice fabric. That's what I'm looking for. This little stripey one. Let me see what else what I got. Oh, 
Calvin Klein has been selling really well for me. Again, this is my second Calvin Klein piece, but here it is. Calvin Klein has been doing really well for me. I'm going to start this one at 20. It's a little blouse. I'll put career in the title of this one because for some reason, career is just a hot keyword. You guys can go and look and see the keywords that people are searching. Um, I'll talk more about that in another video, but I've been kind of looking at that. Mac Studio again, another Mac Studio shirt. I bought this because it's a nice style. Again, we gotta start thinking about summer, you guys. And then this is just a loft shirt, just a $10, $10 shirt, guys. All adds up. They wanted $6.99 at Goodwill for this. No, no, don't wanna pay $6.99. Don't want to pay $6.99. And then I got two sweaters, you guys. I got two sweaters that I plan on selling for $45. Um, this is a Brooks Brothers sweater. I believe it's a woman's sweater. It is a size large. This is definitely a woman's sweater if it's, this is a size large. Here's the tag. Book Brothers is always something to be looking out for. This is 100% cotton. It's a really nice cable knit. This is called cable knit. Cable knit sweater that I plan to sell for $25. And then a Moda International. Somebody asked me today if this was Victoria's Secrets. And I was like, yeah, it totally is. Um... So something you can do to see if a brand is what you think it is, is you can look up the RN number. There's a website, a government website. Just Google. Just use Google and Google um, look up clothing RN number, which is the RN number is this number down here. Um, and then it'll take you to the lookup site and you can just type in the number and it will pull up the name of the company that owns that. When you type in this RN number, it pulls up Victoria's Secrets. Yes, Moda International is owned by Victoria's Secrets. And guess what guys? Sounds like they don't make it anymore. Sounds like they stopped making it like last year or something. So whatever, this is a silk and cashmere blend sweater from Moda International and I'm gonna put it up for $20. Yay! 13 athletic pieces. You guys know I love athletic wear. I, um, athletic wear has been selling really well. It always sells really well. I'm so blessed to be living where I live because I find so much athletic wear. Yesterday I went to, when I was at Goodwill, I didn't buy any of it, but there was literally a whole rolling rack cart that they were bringing out from the back full of all blue Nike pieces, jackets, pants. They were all like the same color scheme. Somebody obviously, Nike probably donated them. It was hilarious. So 13 athletic pieces, $300 estimated sales for these guys. Let's see what I got in here. What's exciting in this one? Lots of Nike pieces. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here we go. This one's not Nike. This is an exciting brand. I, um, I've only found like three pieces of this brand and you can tell it's the brand pretty quickly usually because if you look at the bottom down here, there's a little tag and it looks like a little toad. And that is because of this brand is called Horny Toad. There we go. So this is a Horny Toad piece. Should sell for about $25. There's the tag. So this is a great brand to be watching out for, guys. Horny Toad is another good athletic wear brand. So this is a nice little $25 shirt, and that should sell. My Whenever I put that Horny Toad stuff up, it's like gone. Boom, gone, boom, gone. So that's great. Um, Nike, 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 Nike. And more Nike. So all of these are Nike pieces. Um, and then they all range from about right around the $20 mark for most of these. And then I got a Nike jacket too. This is a nice, really nice Nike running jacket. It's a packable one. You'll all want to put that in the title. Again, I will look it up using... So you guys, the tag is in the seam down here. There will be a big tag and then the small tag. The small tag will have the numbers that I want on it and I'll look it up so I know the exact name of this and I'm estimating that this will sell for about $40. A little Nike running jacket. Nike and it weighs nothing. We love that. $40 jacket. Um, I got an Under Armour sweatshirt. There we go. This would sell for about $25. Mm -hmm. Just more sportswear. 
Feeling crazy. I really like this one. Um, Adidas stuff is back in, guys. It is back in. It is selling. I sold a pair of Firebird. This is called. These tracksuits are Firebird tracksuits. I sold a pair of Firebird pants for $40 that I got at the bin. So this, I think, is going to go up for $30. It's a little pink and black one. Um, this is a, has a stain up here, which I didn't see when I was at the bins. That's okay. I think that I'll probably keep this for myself, but if I don't, I just sold this. Oh, there's the stain. Um, if I can get that stain out or whatever, I don't know. If I sell this, I just sold this exact one in a pink color, this exact same piece for $26 this week. So that's great. And then Prana. This is a nice yoga brand, very, very expensive, guys. This stuff is expensive and it sells really well. You can tell the style is super nice. Really good styling in this brand. So this one I would put up at 25. And then just another couple basics. So we are on to the vintage wedding dress I found. I found a vintage wedding dress, guys. Ta-da, here it is. Um, I don't necessarily love the style of this dress, but somebody will. So I found this in a bin that had already been picked over a million times. It had been out for like half an hour when I found it. Here it is. It's a full length Empire Waist Eyelet. This is called Eyelet um, wedding dress. As you can see, here's the bottom. It's got a tie in the back here. And it's a union made and it still has the price tag from um, a vintage store. They wanted $50 for it at the vintage store. So here's the union tag right there. Here's the size tag. And then here is the brand. The brand is Emma Dom. Emma Dom. So there's a vintage tag. You can tell something is vintage if it has this union made tag right there. So look for those union made tags, guys. These are great. Um, so I'm putting this up for 100 her dress, her wedding dresses seem to sell pretty well. Somebody will get married in this, which is super exciting. Uh, so even though I don't love the style of it, somebody else will. I can't wait to send this off to the bride. Uh, pajamas. Pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. Five pair of pajamas. I got a Nick and Nora. This is just a shirt. This is the first time that I've just bought a shirt. It's just an owl shirt. Um, and... It's, I'm pretty sure it's brand new. I won't put that in the title, but you guys know Nick and Nora has been doing really good. And I'm going to put just this shirt up for 20 um, and see how it does. Then I have a Nick and Nora dress or like nightgown. It's a long nightgown. It's super fun. It's got like soda pop on it. Soda pop. And it's a 2XL, which sells really well. Right? Am I lying? No, it's 2XL. XXL. Extra, extra large. Uh, I think I said I was going to do 30 on this one. 30. Love it. Uh, some older Victoria's Secrets. Silky pants. There's the tag on that. So these I'm going to also put up for 30, which I don't know if they'll sell for 30 or not, but they will sell for at least 20. So I want to try and start them at 30. People love the older style Victoria's Secret stuff. And then just a pair, I, I, I hope that me showing you everything is okay. Let me know if it's not. Ooh. These are just a pair of Target pajamas, but they're like little shorts and the matching shirt. I thought they were really cute. Exhilaration is a brand I would never buy, ever. I just bought these because I like the style and I think they'll sell. So don't buy this brand. Don't buy it. Acceleration. Buy pajamas if they're cute, but don't buy that brand just to buy a brand. Um, but I'm going to try and start them at 20. And then I have a pair of L.L. Bean sailboat pajamas, which I think were super fun. You know, lounge pants by themselves will definitely sell. And these are a size, these were a size medium. They're 100% cotton. L.L. Bean lounge pants. I had an L.L. Bean day today, guys. So, those are all my pajamas. We're almost done with this big pile. And then we have just three pieces of kids clothing. I know you guys have been asking about kid clothing a lot. Here is a Hannah Anderson dress. I know I'm always telling you guys, buy Hannah Anderson. Buy Hannah Anderson. It'll sell for like 15 to 20. Here we go. Hannah Anderson, caught it. Cotton? 
for us. And we're thinking about summer again, guys. Summertime, that's what people are buying for. A little pair of Nike shorts. Little kids Nike shorts. Should sell for about 15. And then, um, maybe I said less than some of those because I had three pieces of kids clothing for $35. But here's a pair of Gap jeans that should sell for 10. Anyway. Let's talk about some fun stuff, shall we? That's some fun goodies to show you now. So, a couple more basics here. I got this little clutch. This is by um, Al Olivia and Joy. And I recognize the name of this brand because they did a collaboration with Target and I always follow those collaborations. And if I remember correctly, I really think they did though. But anyway. Olivia and Joy, and this purse brand new was about $80. There's the lining of it. However, this bag is only selling for about $20. I might just keep it. We'll see. I'll probably sell it because I love selling things. But, um, but yeah, it's a nice, it's got a lot of weight to it too. So I probably paid a dollar or so for that. Okay. One thing I bought was not clothing, but it was still soft goods. I bought a pillowcase cover. I bought this pillowcase cover because it's a West Elm collaboration. Buy West Elm anything when you see it, guys. West Elm is like the anthropology of home goods right now. It is hot. People love it. It's very expensive. I used to work across the street from West Elm and just like drool over their stuff. There we go. West Elm. Um, really nice pillowcase cover. So I'm going to put this up for 30 and then this bag. So you guys need to know about these bags because these bags are back in style. And if you find the vintage ones, they will sell. I'm going to put this little backpack, this little mini backpack up for $50. Here is the brand Kipling. Super nineties, right? Remember these things? Um, but these are hot right now. They have like re-released them. They have all the styles out. Hot, hot, hot. Buy this brand. Kipling. Kipling. Yeah. So this is a vintage one. $50. I think I can get that. Let's talk about shoes. Love shoes. Love shoes. We're getting close to the end, guys. I promise. Hang in there. So... Should I show you the best thing first? Not the best price thing, but I was really excited. Okay, I will. You you pulled on my arm. Look what I found, guys. First off, I found these in a bin that had been out a very long time. L.L. Bean. Made in America. Maine hunting boots. These are duck shoes. Duck shoes! I'm so excited. So these have been on my list forever. I have been wanting to find a pair of L.L. Bean duck shoes, duck boot, well, boots, but the shoes will do, duck boots for a long time. And I've not found a single pair ever because they're just not as popular in Portland or I don't know. I just don't come across them. Found them. Check that off my list. Super excited. You guys should make lists in your head because then when you find the item, it gets like, oh, you get super excited and you know, that joy is fun. And then when they sell, I feel the same way. Um, these are selling all over the place, to be honest with you. The shoes aren't as popular as the boots, but I'm going to still list them. They're a men's size 11, which is a good size. I'm going to put them up for 70, 69.95. And I'll take a best offer of 50, which is still really good for something I found at the bin. So the funny thing is, these had been at the bins in the bin, like out on the floor for a long time. They were, the shoes were there before I got there. And I had been there about half an hour when I made my way over to the shoe bins. And they weren't even in the first shoe bin I went to. So I don't know how somebody missed these because what a score, man. I was, I'm just still super, super excited about them. But yeah, by L.L. Bean. Um, duck boots when you find them. I know that that's people kind of know that but if you don't know that now you do Okay, the other shoes that I found today are these um, Allen Edmonds they are men's loafer shoes and I don't 
I've always wanted to get into men's dress shoes because I know that there's a lot of money to be made, but I'm not good at brands. But I found, I saw one of these in a bin and I was like, oh, these look kind of nice, but I just threw it back because I didn't, you know, I don't think much of them. But then I found another shoe in a dust bag. So I found a shoe in a dust bag like this. See, Allen Edmonds. And I was like, oh, a shoe in a dust bag. It's expensive. Does the name on the shoe match the name on the dust bag? It did. Uh, so I was like, oh, I, I had that other one. I went around and I found it, dug it out, grabbed it. And then I looked them up. Some of these shoes sell for in the $100 to $200 range. Not these ones, but still, that is crazy. That is awesome. Now I know a new brand. I love learning new things. Ellen Edmonds. I'm going to put these up for $64.95. $65 to start off with. And we'll see what happens. I wish I would have found the other dust bag, but whatever. It's still pretty cool that I found these. I'm super excited to um, try and sell my first like men's dress shoe. Okay. Ba -ba I got a pair of smart wool slippers. I know we've talked about smart wool a lot. I need to clean them a little. There was like a sticker on the bottom in the soles of these. Um, but you know, I can get these all cleaned up. They'll look great and they should sell for about $20. These little smart wool slippers. They don't have much wear on the bottom. The sticker and everything is still in there. It's mainly just that there was like a weird sticker on the inside that needs to be cleaned out. So there's that. Smart wool, smart wool. Super cozy slippers. $20. I'll stop singing. I'm sorry. <sighs> the things you guys put up with. I uh, found a pair of baby Converse. You can hang these from your rear view mirror if you'd like. $20 for these. And I found, I'm going to save the highest priced one for last. Um, these are Sam Edelman. Look at how cool these are. I feel like I, okay, so I feel like I have found these exact shoes before in a different color. Maybe blue, but I swear I have. It's crazy that I've been selling long enough that I forget. At Goodwill, they wanted $12.99. I didn't want to pay that. I wanted to pay by the pound, like a dollar. That's a great price. Aren't these cute? Valentine's Day, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put these up for Valentine's Day. Somebody's going to wear them, maybe with that bra. Perfect outfit. Perfect. Uh, what size are they? They're an eight. Eh, that's a normal size. So, $40. $40 for the perfect Valentine's Day shoe. If you guys are interested, they're a size 8. Just kidding. I'm putting them on eBay. Okay, Nike. I got a pair of rubber band all the shoes together, which is super nice of them. These are just a pair of Nike shoes. These should sell. I'm putting up for um, $30, but I'm guessing they'll sell for about $25, which is great. So this is a brand to watch out for, guys. This is called Camper. So their prices are kind of all over the place, but their shoes are very expensive. When you go buy these new at Nordstrom's, you're looking at over $100 for a pair of shoes. Look at these. Aren't they cute? These are like really good. These are definitely in style. This is what people are wearing. They have really nice, um, I think it's leather. I think this is real leather uppers. But anyway, camper looks super, super simple. And then, you know, you can tell the size of the European size. We'll get all of these cleaned up, but they're still in really good condition. And I'm going to start them at $60. I think that they will sell, especially with summer coming up. This nice mint color. I couldn't find another pair of the exact ones, but. So here is the other thing, you guys. Goodwill obviously doesn't didn't know, and they price these at $4.99. I've seen campers at other at Goodwills for way more than that, but whoever priced these, priced these at a great $4.99. I would have snagged these bad boys. Now you know if you didn't know about camper, watch out for these camper shoes. Okay, the last ones. Um, these boots are by a very expensive brand that I had never heard of, but I picked them up because I felt the leather on these and it is like it's like butter in my hand. It is so soft. So incredibly soft. These are a great size. These are a women's size 11. These are going to sell for $100 used. I mean, granted, they're barely used. but um, So they're by a brand called Arch. Obviously, I'm going to have to get all that off, guys. But Arch 
is the brand name of these and their boots I didn't find these exact pair but their boots sell brand new between three to like five hundred and fifty dollars three hundred to five hundred dollars new I'm just letting it sink in yeah so I'm gonna put these up for a hundred goodwill wanted 20 um what was I gonna show you guys oh yeah the name this is kind of like there's like the, what the logo looks like. A-R-C-H-E. Look at, out for these arch boots, guys. And the selling prices are all over the place. All over the place on eBay. But I think that I can get $100 for these ones. There's not another pair up there like this that I saw. They're really nice. $100. I love $100. And that's it. That is my official bin haul, guys. What do you think? How did I do? You think that I'll do pretty good? I think I will. Um, but it's not over because I did something else today that I did kind of for the first time. Um, I have a friend and she's like, Hey, Marshalls and TJ Maxx are doing their final clearance right now. You should check it out. Look, I'm getting all of this great stuff for like $5 and, you know, reselling it for 40. And then I was like, Ooh, I like those numbers. So I packed up my stuff and I went over there today. So I went to Marshall's. I bought two things for myself. So this receipt isn't accurate, but $74 is what I spent. I spent $65 on the merchandise I bought to resell. And I'm going to show it to you really fast. So if you have a Marshall's or a TJ Maxx and you see this video when it's first uploaded, I would suggest you go over there because they have some really good stuff right now. And eBay has the app where you can scan things now so you can see how much they're selling for. Awesome. Okay, so these are just a pair of bike shorts. I paid $3 for them. That's crazy, right? And it's nice. Everything is brand new with tags. Here is the name of the brand, Canary. So they're padded bike shorts, and these are selling for $25 right now on eBay. So that's what I'm putting them up. Um, I got a pair of plus-size Talbot dress pants. There we go. I paid $5 for them. Here's the tag. 22s. These are a great size. Valentine's Day. Red, red, red. Um, I'm going to put them up for 40 A bra. I mean, a bra. So this is a um, lock hole bra, which are expensive. You can see that this bra is $65 brand new, and this is a 32 triple D. And I paid still right. $5.50 for it. Isn't that great? So $5.50 for this bra that I'm gonna sell for $30. Well, you guys just fell down. And I'm not probably gonna edit that out because this video is taking me a long time tonight. So sorry about that. Sorry about that little trip you guys took. Shall we continue? Almost done. Um, I got two pair of cutoff Levi's, so they're just, you know, men's cutoffs. These are super, like, hipsters wear these around Portland all the time. So, these are going to sell. I only paid $3 for each pair. That is great. You can't buy anything for $3. And then you can see that Levi's original price on them was $54. I'm going to list each pair for $24.99. Yeah, that's great. I know. I hear you. It's awesome. Nicole did awesome today. Okay, right, and then I got these Under Armour pants, which are super cozy. I paid 11 for them, which is more than I wanted to pay for anything. But I can resell them for 40 so that's awesome. The retail price on them was $60. So yay, Under Armour pants. Um, and then I got this RLX little shirt. Here we go. I told, I talked about this um, on the group recently, so, but it was only $5, Ralph Lauren, and it should sell for about $40, which is great. Look at this. There's the tag and the logo, and then you can see that it's a $90 shirt. Okay, almost done, guys. I got a dress. Um, it's just a little CC. It's like a this will be a great little work dress for someone. I paid $5 for it. This is the brand CC by Cynthia Steve. I've sold those Cynthia dresses before. 
and originally that was $158. Who pays $158 for a dress? Well, a lot of people do, but I probably would too. Um, it's a size 12, it will sell, and it will sell for $40. And then I got this really nice bra. This is a great little sports bra. The brand is Lorena Jane. Lorena Jane. There it is. Um, I paid $5 for it. And it should sell for about 30. That's awesome, guys. I did really good. The last thing I found is the most exciting thing. I found at Marshall's an Elaine Fisher piece with the tags on it. It retailed for $218. I paid 20. Again, more than I wanted to, but it's a 2X. And these are currently selling on eBay very regularly for $150. Yeah, crazy. So I took my $65 that I spent today at um, Marshall's. That's, I keep saying TJ Maxx too. It was at Marshall's and I'm turning it into about $445, which is great. So I had a great day today, you guys. I hope you had a great day. I hope you were listening. I hope you were sourcing. I hope this video wasn't too long for you. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like, subscribe. If you guys got some good information out of this video, feel free to share it with your friends. Um, put it on Facebook. Let people know that they can sell on eBay and make a living too, you guys. Um, anyway, thank you so much, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. Bye.